So a corporate executive from Kroger admitted to price gouging during an antitrust trial. This comes as no surprise as other companies are currently being targeted by the FTC for gouging prices long after the supply chain issues ended after the pandemic. So I'm going to read a few parts of this article from Eyewitness News and the, the article is titled Kroger Executive Admits Company Gouge Prices Higher Than Inflation Levels. A Kroger executive admitted to gouging prices on selected items above inflation levels during an antitrust trial. According to Newsweek, Andy Groff, Kroger's senior director for pricing, said the company had raised the cost of milk and eggs beyond the levels of inflation while testifying to a Federal Trade Commission attorney on Tuesday. And we've all seen prices jump way out of whack with inflation. I don't know what's been happening in corporate offices, but from my 30 years of management experience, I can tell you that people who are guilty of something will often admit to, to a lesser offense in an effort to seem cooperative, just to avoid getting in trouble for something that's really bad. However, since I'm not a fly on the wall in some corporate office, only time will tell. The article continues, this is not at all surprising. Founder of Illinois-based Powers Financial Group, Drew Powers, told Newsweek, Companies across multiple industries have been posting record profits since the COVID-19 crisis, while consumers have faced the highest inflation in recent history. The math can only point to companies raising prices above general level of inflation. As the old saying goes, never let a good crisis go to waste. How many of you have ever wondered how corporations can be raising their prices like they have been, making record profits, while employees seem to lag behind because their pay is not keeping up with inflation? This imbalance is the very cause of the financial strain that consumers have been facing for the last few years. Their pay has not kept pace with inflation, so they have to struggle more and more just to meet their basic needs. The reason for the antitrust trial is because Kroger is trying to acquire one of its competitors. Trust me, that's not how capitalism works. Capitalism is based on competition. When you have less competition, you end up with higher prices. Big corporations need to be broken up to create more competition in our economy. More competition will lower prices as companies do their level best to attract customers. The antitrust laws need to be enforced. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Also, leave a comment down below about what you think should be done to ensure fair pricing by corporations. So the end of the article reads as follows. It came after a court hearing from Kroger's FTC lawsuit following the company's announcement that it would be acquiring Albertsons, a top competitor. An internal email from Groff shows that the price of milk and eggs routinely exceeded what inflation would require for the chain to turn a profit, according to Newsweek. Rich reported that the executive said Kroger intended to, quote, pass through our inflation to consumers, end quote. Quote, on milk and eggs, retail inflation has been significantly higher than cost inflation, end quote, Groff wrote in the internal email to other Kroger executives. When speaking to Bloomberg, a Kroger spokesman said that Croft's comments were cherry-picked and, quote, does not reflect Kroger's decades-long business model to lower prices for consumers by reducing its margins, end quote. So here we have an admission of wrongdoing and then a diplomatic denial of wrongdoing from a Kroger spokesperson. That does not surprise me at all. Admitting guilt would be bad public relations. But Kroger and other corporations need to be held accountable for their actions and their impact on our economy. So until the next video, take care and have a great rest of your day. Peace out.